Good evening. Here we are on Psalms 2. And uh, I want to bring it out. I did Psalms 1 on the last video. I have three trombones. I got this one. And then I got this one, which I really like the tone. And then I bought this one and sell coffee. It's called the T-bone or D-bone or T-bone, whatever. And uh, they all sound good. I, I like to uh, make music off of each and every one. And they all, it's like a piano. They all have a different tone, tone quality. And uh, my last video was on Blessed is the man that walketh not the counsel of the ungodly. This, uh, this video here uh, has to do with the Anointed One, and this being Easter week. Uh, we're talking about the second Psalms, and it talks about why does the heathen rage and carry on? And we could more or less call the heathen the, the world system. And uh, the Bible says that Jesus Christ came that we might have life and have that life more abundantly. And how great it is that Jesus came and he died upon the cross. And uh, if you see in the background, you'll see some uh, over, over here you can see some uh, Easter lilies and uh, everything's getting ready to bloom. And... Uh, it's just the beginning of spring, and this is a beautiful, beautiful time of year. And we see the trees, oh, they just start blossoming out. And in a couple, probably in a couple weeks, there's an Easter flower right back there. And they won't be around too much longer. Why does the heathen rage? And the Bible says, and uh, why does he rage? And why do the people imagine vain things? It says that the kings of the earth have set themselves and the rulers to take counsel against the Lord and against the, his anointed sayings. In other words, his anointed sayings that he left behind is the Word of God, the V-I-B-L-E. He that setteth in the heavens shall laugh, and that's the Lord God, the Father. He shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them into his wrath, and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet I have set my king upon the holy hill of Zion. That's the Father speaking about his son, Jesus Christ. Uh, Billy Graham once said that uh, Jesus Christ was, you know, last Sunday was... Palm Sunday, and within uh, six, seven, eight days, people were really mocking and going against Jesus Christ. They just did a 180 degree turn, and they more or less came against the Lord. His accusers, of course, we know that uh, the devil or Satan is the accuser of the brethren, but. Uh, they accused them of healing people on the Sabbath. In other words, doing good on the Sabbath. He healed people on the Sabbath. And according to their law, which they had memorized, uh, you couldn't do anything on the Sabbath. And uh, he claimed uh, to be a friend of sinners. He came that you might have life and have that life more abundantly. He came that you, he told Nicodemus, you must be born again. And he claimed in which he is the son of the living God that's Jesus Christ but the Bible says that he, he is going to come and he's going to he's going to rule with a rod of iron and he shall he shall dash him to pieces like a vessel the enemies in the last if we are truly in the last days I believe we are the Bible says it's going to grow more wicked and wicked. They're going to call good bad, and they're going to call bad good. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? I think so. And, and I, I'm thankful that I can present this uh, little video for 
the people in the rest home uh, you used to be able to go in there, but because of this COVID, there's many, many restrictions. But here in Western Ohio, uh, Southeastern Ohio, it's, it's getting a little bit better. someplace here. I plan to hear. I, uh, I usually don't use music. Uh, oh, here's my songbook. That, that's a wonderful, wonderful song of praise. It says that he is able to deliver thee. It says, tis the grandest theme through the ages rung. Tis the grandest theme for a mortal tongue. Tis the grandest theme that the world e'er sung sang or God is able to deliver thee. He is able to deliver thee. He is able to deliver thee. Though by sin oppressed, go to him for a rest. Our God is able to deliver thee. And how true that is. And it says that he sits in the heavens. Uh, Kenny over here at uh, Jenkins Rest Home and Bobby Myers and, and many of them. Uh, I, I just call the name Rita. And uh, then you have... Uh, up to Edgewood, and, and then you have down to Four Winds, and then there, there was an Oakland down between Jackson and Oak Hill. They changed the name, and there was Holzer Assisted Living. Uh, my mother, she was at Holzer Assisted Living, and uh, she was able to be moved over here to uh, Jenkins, and this is where she crossed over in the Glory Land. And, it was. I was thankful to be there when she did cross over. It was such a peaceful. I prayed that she would cross over uh, the River Jordan, cross over to Jordan, in a peaceful um, moment. Uh, <laughs> got a little bit deeper sound but this is a, a higher class uh, trombone it, um, it, that one I just played was a more or less baritonish more or less but, but this one's awesome this is what Faith Harkins she asked me and her and her uh, family asked if I wouldn't consider taking it because it belonged to, to their father and wanted me to play it they knew that I played it in the rest homes, and and I, I finally gave in and told her I would. I, I told her I didn't want to take any family heirlooms, and but she said no. Our father played in churches and, and uh, did revivals, and he took his trombone everywhere he went. Said just like you, and uh, that was quite a compliment. Quite a compliment. What a friend we have in Jesus. Well, 
so. Everybody ought to know who Jesus is. Oh my goodness. He's the lily of the valley. He's the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. So let's face it, Jesus Christ, he, he came, he was born to be the atonement, to be the propitiation for our sins. And he was a man that knew no sin, but he was made sin that we, we might enter in. And uh, that was he and the Father and, and the Holy Ghost uh, had that plan before the foundations of the world was laid. And he's coming back. He's coming back in a moment. And uh, that, that crucifixion, when he said it is finished, that's great. But what was greater was the, the uh, resurrection of Christ. He came out of that grave three days later. He arose. And then he went to the Father. And he was atoned. That was where he was atoned in the heavenly throne with his Father. And the Bible says, he's, For the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, he suffered the shame, but he is now seated at the right hand of the Father in glory and majesty around the throne room of God, the Father and he's on the thrones. And he sent the comforter, he sent the Holy Ghost to speak to us, to guide to us. You know, what, a lot of people said, well, what would you do if Jesus Christ walked, if we were back there walking with Jesus Christ? It's no different. He sent the comforter, he sent the Holy Ghost, and the Holy Ghost is within us. What, know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is within you? You're not your own, for you've been bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and your spirit, which belongs to God. In other words, sanctify, set yourself apart. Therefore, we beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be you not conformed to this world, but be you conformed by the transferring of your mind that you may prove what is good and excellent uh, i'm just showing you how everything is just it's just marvelous the way things are budding out i got a fish pond and you know this is the spring of the year and you know we have easter sunday coming up and it's just the begin it just seems like it's the beginning of a new season but every sunday should be an easter sunday for us and as i go through the psalms psalms uh, 1 through 41 has to do with the genesis psalms and it refers to the uh, the genesis psalms refers to mankind so the first second all the way up to the 41st Psalms had to do with mankind. And then the 42nd and the 72nd Psalms has to do with the Exodus Psalms, talking about Christ, uh, uh, talking about him enabling, God, God enabling Moses. Moses was the type of Christ to come out of Egypt land. Now, I gotta watch my time because I don't want to go too long. Uh, and uh, the Bible says in Luke 24, 44, uh, the Lord spoke to a couple guys on the maze walk. Then he was in the upper room with his disciples. And he says, everything must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses, which is the first five books, the Pentateuch of the Old Testament, and the Psalms, and of the prophets. And you remember how Christ wept over Jerusalem he all night he, he endured and he wept he said old jerusalem old jerusalem you talk about the prophets that he has sent you know we talk about the grace the love of god but he's coming back to rule with a rod of iron and he's in the heavens i believe laughing right now because mankind thinks that they can do it another way and you, there's only one way and, and that's in christ jesus he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by him. There's only one way here on earth to make it to heaven. Uh, 
think of another song to play. Keepers once with a group of uh, Christians, uh, men, and, and uh, they had a group up there, and at the end of, of their singing, they sang that, How Great Thou Art, had, they had everyone standing up there at the Colosseum in Columbus, and uh, at the end, when they went, oh, How great thou art, O Lord, how great thou art, and they continued to do that, and, as, and they did it 12 13, 14, 15 times to glorify God. Well, that is the end of the message here, and I will attempt to go on to the third chapter the next time. But, but remember, you, the first Psalms is, Blessed is the man. Uh, the, the second Psalms has to do with the Anointed One, and this is Holy Week, and it's ironic that, that that's the one I'm on right now. And... Uh, I'll try to put this on my YouTube channel, which is Phil, P-H-I-L, space, Henneman, H-E-N-N-E-M-A-N. -N -E and, uh, of course, I, I got a FaceTime channel, too. But Glory to God. Thank you, and God bless.